Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, January the 9th. And guess where we're headed? It is a bright and early morning. It's only 8.20. The park opened about 20 minutes ago. And I am not a morning person, but Marky Mouse got me up. We can't figure out what that is and we haven't seen any signs, but he looks like a baby deer. Turns out the park opened at eight for the guests that are staying at the resorts. We're waiting for rope drop at nine. We have a duck all the way up there. I don't know if you can see all the way back there. That's the entrance over there. And there are people lined up all the way to the entrance waiting to get into the park. The time has come. And we're in. Can you see the crowd behind me? I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of people that were waiting to get in. <laughs> we're headed to the safari first because I want to catch the animals bright and early while they're awake and spunky. And I never get to see the lions. So I hope the lion is awake today. Thank you. You're in her own baby. We say twin day. That means let's go. Jumbo, everyone. Hippos are nocturnal animals, so they do most of their activity at nighttime. They stay in the water most of the day to keep cool. Another his name is Tula. Greta is about four or five months old right now. They're the largest flamingo species and the latest pink in their pink feathers. We'll have a brief little stop here. See a female lion laying at the top of the tall rocks. Adults of this size, so they require less food and space compared to other animals farmers may raise. Look at the runners! Wow, we caught the runners! It is marathon weekend, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> I love some of the outfits, man. Some of them get so creative. Right now, standby is 30 minutes. We actually only waited 10 minutes when we went in. This was the first ride we went into. Where are you driving? I'm so glad we caught the lions awake today, guys. So what I wanted to do, I did. But let's go check out some other animals. So when you come out of the safari, so you enter the safari there, Kilimanjaro, you're gonna come out this way, but you also have the option to get off your truck and head left towards Gorilla Falls. But we took a little detour and now we're headed back towards Gorilla Falls. So that's your exit right there for the safaris. And then you go right into Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. Let's check out some gorillas. Looks like we it. Oh, great. <laughs> Hikers learn more about the importance of we forgot the, the off. natural environments at Gorilla <laughs> And we have a giant, is that a termite? Mound? Yes, it is. We've got some little monkeys here. Of little critters <laughs> they are so cute those guys are sleepy they're just like hanging out and watching while the other two are like playing we have another active one right here oh he's eating Look, he's eating, babe. 
Ah, he's eating leaves. Some kind of leaves. He is so cute. <laughs> We've got an okapi right in front of us. They are family of the giraffe, as we have learned on the safari. Wow, I didn't realize you could see it from this side. The safari is running around there, and we can see them now from here too. We can hear the truck, and we can hear the talking. Related to the giraffe. It's so strange. It looks like two different animals. I know. It's so cool. It's so beautiful. Oh, he's beautiful. Little guy. Oh. So it says that the giraffe developed that really long um, neck because of the competition that it had in the savannah where they are from originally. But the akapi, although related to the giraffe, they didn't have to develop that long neck to get food because there was plenty of food for them in the grounds where they were. That's pretty cool, huh? Although we're at Animal Kingdom, you still have to wear your face mask when you're walking into places indoors. And we're going into the research center. Interesting. This is kind of cool. My honey, Marky Mouse, is live today. Thank you, babe. <laughs> we're back out. We are in the aviary right now, and there are birds all around us. Oh, did you see that guy? Those are so pretty. Those look like miniature ducks of some sort. There's these little yellow birds flying around that I'm gonna try to capture for you guys. They're flying all around. I don't know if they're parakeets. They are so beautiful. Okay, there's one of the little yellow guys right there. And all through these branches, there's nests everywhere. Oh, look, he's right there in the branch. Let's see if I can capture him. There he is. Look how beautiful he is. Oh, my God, he's so beautiful. Look at that. Aw. That one's building a nest. We've got a gator's head here in comparison to a hippo's head. There is a hippo in the water behind me, but I, I can't really capture him with the, with, with the camera. But he's totally immersed and he's huge. Oh my gosh, the baby's just holding on for dear life. Look at that baby. Oh, yeah, well, she said. What else we can find? Hey. 
Are these the baby Oh, it had the baby on her. Did you see it? The baby was clinging on for dear life. Yeah, baby was under her. Sorry, which one's the package? That's a really cool bridge over there. If you like Greek food, Mediterranean food, Harambe Market is the place. It is really, really good. So I normally have the gyros at Harambe Place or Heedles. And my honey has like some kind of chicken. Oops, sorry. Somebody came too close. My honey usually has some kind of like chicken rice bowl. The food at Harambe is really good. It's inexpensive and it's one of the favorites of ours for, you know, that quick service. However, our favorite place to eat here is Yakinyeti and we're going to try to get a um, spot on the wait list. Hopefully, hopefully we can get into Yakinyeti today. I couldn't get reservations, but you can walk up and get on the waiting list. The tree of life. I can look at that forever. It's so beautiful. And at nighttime when all the lights are on it, uh, it's just fantastic. We were able to get in on standby and it's actually not going to be too long. It's going to be a 30 minute wait on standby and it's almost 11. So by the time we get called and we go in, it'll be lunchtime. Yak and Yeti is one of our favorite restaurants and it is our favorite restaurant here in Animal Kingdom by far. The food is amazing and it's kind of like that Asian fusion type of food. Um, they do have burgers for you burger lovers. It's supposed to be one of the best burgers on property, but I love the fried rice. I love the lettuce wraps. I love their chicken. They also have like a ginger chicken. Oh my God, it's amazing. Their food is just fantastic. That's all I'm saying. We're driving the little vehicle that's right outside of Jack and Yeti. Could you? <laughs> And that's the little jalopy that we were just in. And one of the very gracious cast members took a picture for us. There is Everest right in front of us and it's been closed for refurbishment. It closed about, I wanna say a week ago. Not sure how long it'll be closed for, but yeah, look at that. It's actually pretty cool to see. Looks like they're getting the kites ready for the kite show. <laughs> They're having a good old time. There's a little island here in the middle as you're headed into the Yak and Yeti area. Let's catch those monkeys playing. <laughs> They're so cute. Our go-to is the cherry limeade. It's Sprite with lime and cherry, obviously. This is so good, guys. It's super refreshing. And that is our favorite drink from here. It is non-alcoholic. And we ordered the lettuce wraps, the fried chicken. It's Korean fried chicken. It's amazing. And it's got like a special little ranch dressing there. And we have some chicken fried rice for the side. But the chicken lettuce wraps, guys, they're unbelievable. I think they're called chicken boats here, not lettuce wraps. They're so good. We're going to watch the Festival of the Lion King. Ooh. Got a lion right here. <laughs> this is KBB. Which means impatient. Oh, it means princess. <laughs> Yeah. 
is going to conclude my vlog for today i hope you guys enjoyed it i tried to put in a little bit of everything we've had a fantastic early day here it's 12 30 and we're headed back home thank you thank you for being here with us but before you go subscribe like and comment don't forget to subscribe have a great week everybody